Alright guys, this is going to be a quick video on thioacetals towels and rainy nickel reduction. So guys, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on this topic because it turns out that a thioacetal towel is really the same exact thing as an acetal except that instead of using an alcohol, you're using a thiol, right? So a thiol would just be a group that's RSH, which is really the same thing as ROH. Remember that S is right below O on the periodic table, so it even reacts very, very similar. It has those two lone pairs and everything, okay? So in this case, you can see that I have my carbonyl, and I'm reacting it with what's actually called a dithiol here. Now, you don't always have to react with a dithiol, but if you want to get a cyclic thioacetal, then you need to use a dithiol. If you want to get an acyclic one, then you would use two equivalents of just a regular thiol, okay? Now, the biggest difference being that between this reaction and acetals is that we do use a specific acid. Instead of how for acetals, I told you guys it doesn't really matter, it could be any proton donating acid. For thioacetals, typically we use BF3, which if you guys remember, is actually a strong Lewis acid, okay? The biggest difference between this mechanism and the Bronsted Lowry mechanism for um, acetals is going to be that in your first step, instead of protonating the O, the O actually just starts to donate its electrons to the empty orbital, which again makes a resonance structure with a positive charge down here, okay? So other than that, the mechanism is really pretty much identical. It's just that you're using a Lewis acid instead of a Bronsted Lowry acid in this case, okay? So now we get to the thioacetal, which is this. And guys, thioacetals are also important protecting groups in organic chemistry. So you could use a thioacetal as a protecting group, and then that would be it. You would just stop there, and then you'd go back when you wanna, when you wanna regenerate the carbonyl. But there's a, a very important secondary reaction that only thioacetals can undergo that we wanna make sure that we learn here. And that secondary reaction is when you combine a thioacetal with rainy nickel. Rainy nickel is a strong reducing agent. Okay, I'm gonna put here strong reducing agent. Oops, reduce. That works specifically with thioacetals. And what it does is it replaces the entire um, sulfur ring or the di thioester ring with H's, okay? So the rainy nickel catalyst is a great way to remove carbonyls altogether. So if your intention from the beginning was just let me get rid of that carbonyl and make it into an alkane, then thioacetal with rainy nickel is the way to go, okay? So guys, I'm gonna let you guys do this example here. Um, notice that there's multiple steps. First, I'm actually starting off with an acetal. Then I'm reacting with dilute acid, so you can try to think what's going to go on there. So draw the structures for A, B, and C, and then we'll be done with this topic. So go ahead and do that, and then I'll do it for you.